Right folks, before we uh, look into this uh, sixth model of the uh, number 11 outfit models included in the instruction book, this is the final one of those six, um, it's a seaside shelter by the way, uh, just to underline why I've done the video this way, if I'd have uh, built a model and then videoed that model and then took it apart, then built another one and took it apart and so on and, 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 and just built video, took apart built video it would have taken with editing about a week to do it um, so I've done it this way to keep it shorter and uh, I know people don't tend to like or some people don't tend to like stills in videos but I'm sort of one of them but then again sometimes you'd never see your stills if you uh, if you didn't do something with them like that so doing it this way a bit more of an overview if you like because uh, I've only got the one set, so I can't build several models and, and video several at the same time. So, yes, Seaside Shelter. Of course, by this time, I'm getting pretty slick with it. The most difficult thing is finding where your first rod's going to go. To find where your first rod is going to go, I suggest you just take your time. You look at the diagrams, or rather the picture on the diagram. Uh, the floor plan if you like doesn't show you where the rods go in relation to the board but once you get the one rod in make sure it's in the right place just by counting the holes that you can see or can't see in the picture in the instructions and then away you go put the right rod in the right hole put all your rods in this is how I've been doing it anyway. put all your rods in and then you refer to the floor plan to pick the right bricks, the right colour bricks, we ain't got much choice of bricks, really. it's white or red. Different types of bricks though, end bricks and just normal bricks, half bricks, um, these are half bricks here, these white ones just here, um, that's a canopy, the roof. Um, so just take your time cross referencing the letters if you have to with the listing of the letters and what they mean, the abbreviations and what they mean. Now on the whole, they are quite nice for Ormby double O, double O gauge railways, and indeed O gauge, you make them a bit bigger. To that end, the doors and windows are a better size for O gauge, but overall, they're not too bad. It's a bit chunky in the detail for double O, but um, it is quite nice, and it's uh, sort of of the same sort of period, really, give or take. So uh, they do tend to go quite nicely with each other. The beauty of it is it is fairly detailed. Your detailing is already done for you, so it's actually quite quick once you get used to the idea. It's nowhere near as slow as I thought it would be. A couple of the difficulties I've had with some of the rods, getting them out the base, and, and in some cases in, they're just old, they're a bit grubby, a bit pitted maybe, so what I've done is uh, just take a little bit of sandpaper or emery cloth, you know, just a one inch square will do, and if I find one's a bit stiff, I'll just clean the end up a little bit. And also, if you can't get them out, I use the emery cloth to grip the rod to pull it out. And so far, so good, I've been successful doing it that way. Now with this one, there was an error in the plan. Nothing major. But you can see at the front, below the seat, is the curved brick section. It said it was white, but obviously it's red. Um, you just look at the... Um, the colour picture in the uh, instruction book to see the colours anyway but what I did to save the instruction book because it's the covers on its way out now I photocopied what I wanted and uh, worked off that and it's perfectly fine because obviously it was black and white but obviously darker shade and lighter shade and it was okay um, I did make a bit of an error with the rods on this one so I did get it wrong where it was located on the base so I had to change that round so the format of all the builds has been the same I sort the parts out the box from the parts list. Once I've got those, I start on the build. I take my time, but I have made a couple of errors, getting the first rod in the right position based on the picture that's included in the instructions. And then I go ahead and start building. I start on the first layer, work all the way around the building, then go up to the next layer, and so on. Till you get to the third layer, which with these size models generally means the eaves, and that's when we put the tie bars in and the uh, corner ties in. You could probably get away without it on some of these, especially with the roof on, but um, it does say around about three levels up, use the tie bars. 
you may also probably find you use them on, on larger models uh, above windows and doors um, so for example if I show the end of this one which I was going to anyway so here you might want to put a tie bar across the top there but it's solid enough and whilst we're at it we'll go and continue to look round this one quite a nice, neat little job uh, I must say that the pent roofs are far better than the flat roofs the flat roofs they just they just balance on top and if you've got two together that they're pretty poor to be honest but this one is uh, just rested on some sections at the end there like that you just see there these like trusses if you like and you can see in there the um, that's a corner tie one other side and then at the back there there's uh, I think there's two or three there uh, tie bars I overlapped and one each side here I didn't use two in this one so but awkward to transport I had to wrap this up in paper and tie it up to keep the roof on uh, but uh, neat no glue of course um, what was the time on this one then well the, I was getting really quite quick with it now so um, the total build time including the error and sorting the error in, which is my fault putting the rod in the wrong place 23 minutes source all the parts put it together 23 minutes quite nifty of course some of that time was sorting the parts but looking at this here it was um, five minutes so getting pretty slick by then so so this is the final one of the number 11 outfit included instructions with the 13 set or outfit and um, next up I'll start on the 12s and we'll do something similar uh, again using stills because it's far quicker that way so I hope you enjoy this stuff it's uh, it's, it's interesting um, I suppose from our point of view using it with Ombre Dublo I can see that um, try me hardest not to buy loads of sets but uh, I think buy the um, accessory add-on just to make it up into the next set be fine and then of course like Meccano itself once you've got an array of parts make your own bye for now folks